G'day! In this video I'm going to show you all about polygons. So a polygon is just a, um, a two-dimensional shape that contains an area. So for example here I'll add a polygon um, of a study area. And there we go. That's a um, shape. Let's call this um, study area. This is the entire area that we were studying for our Yarraman Creek field trip. All right, so that gets saved here, which is within my Yarraman field trip folder. And we can change the properties of this. So, for example, the style and the color. At the moment, the line is uh, white. Let's make it blue and let's make the area, um, we'll make it a lighter blue. Okay. Um, that's really good. We can see the outline of our study area, but I can no longer see anything underneath that. Well, that's when you can change the opacity. Let's make it, for example, 35%. Now we can see the study area as a light shading and we can still see the satellite image behind it. Maybe a little bit darker, maybe 50%. And there you go. You can see our study area. Why is that useful? Well, one thing you can do with polygons, besides um, show the difference between a few different areas using colors, you can color coordinate different things in your field site. Um, we can actually calculate the area. Now, using Google Earth Pro, you can do this just using, using the measuring tool. But if you've only got normal Google Earth, you'll have to copy this data and paste it into a different website to calculate the area. So if I right click this and let's do copy. Now if I go to Google and I want to type in something called EarthPoint. Now EarthPoint is a website where you can do all sorts of things. The only one I'm going to show you now is Polygon Area. Let's click on Polygon Area. Um, in this box here all we do is we right click and we paste. So that's copied the, um, the data from here. We right clicked and we copied it and we paste it into here. Um, let's do the area in um, square, square kilometers and a length in kilometers. Um, and let's, you can export it to Excel if you want. So you can um, collect all your data in a spreadsheet. Let's just um, view on a web page. So here you've got. Um, a data which is 2.1 kilometers squared. There's four points from the four points of the square, um, and the perimeter length of our study area is six kilometers. So there you go. Now I'm going to show you an application of this from another GIS project that I did, just to show you what um, can be done if you take your time um, and have a useful application. Here's um, Cardinia, so near Pakenham, and here I've got the land use from 2002. What I did when I made this is I changed the historical um, image down to uh, 2001, 2002, and I traced the land use that was underneath there. So agricultural land is in blue, residential land I traced in purple, and I did that just by drawing polygons. So I did, for example, tracing around little built up areas, around little farms, etc., and I ended up with this particular image. And then I, then I did the same thing. I'll just turn that off for a second. I did the same thing using the current um, photo. And this is how the um, land use has changed. The proportion of lands changed. Obviously, I've done different colors. Another thing which I've done is raise the elevation. This area was um, a particular built up residential area. And to show that it was a higher density, I actually raised up the um, polygon. I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'll go back to my... Um, Yarraman Creek example. And this is good just because it looks cool. Um, let's add an, a new polygon in. Um, sorry, I'll just turn the um, aerial photo back up to normal. So let's say I want to trace around this area which looks like it's residential land. Um, I'll call that high density residential. I just changed the color of this so that you don't get it confused with the study area. Let's turn it to orange. And I'm going to change the altitude of this. So at the moment, um, let's, uh, relative to ground, let's move, 
move that up from the ground towards space. And as I do that, you can see that triangle shape, that polygon moving up and down. And let's click extend, extend sides of the ground so that all this part is um, colored in. All of a sudden here, um, we can see this area is popped up as a three-dimensional shape. And it might be easier to see if I um, do this. And you can see there, um, I've created this three-dimensional shape in the landscape to represent this uh, high-density residential area. So that's polygons, really good for shading different areas. You can use it to create maps. You can use it to compare study sites to show different land use. And um, it also looks cool.